friends let us learn a large incision cataract surgery together this is a black cataract cataracta nigra phaco is possible in this case but there can be endothelial cell loss to a significant extent there can be posterior capsular rent and nucleus drop lot of complications can occur in phaco so it is a safe option to do large incision cataract surgery in such cases conjunctival peritomy is done for about 4 o'clock hours either 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock or 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock in this case the tenons is very thick and it was quite difficult to separate the tenons from the sclera but we have to separate the tenons from the sclera if we want to do bipolar weight field quartering uh, this mass is the peritomy for about 3 and a half to 4 o'clock hours and these are the tags of the tenons tissue and it is being trimmed and now we are going to do bipolar wet field cautery in this case i am planning two sics incisions which will be placed adjacent to each other and this is the bipolar wet field cautery which is very mild you must just touch on the blood vessels and immediately come out and the assistant must keep on instilling drops of ringa lactate or bss it is done now the incision i'm going to place two sics incisions this one is about 5 and 1/2 mm and this one is about 5 mm so two sics wounds have been placed adjacent to each other and sclerocorneal tunnel is being made as we do in sics so those surgeons who do sics it is a very easy option for them do sics wounds joining each other and we just have to place one suture where the two incisions meet that is at the apex of this v shaped incision and now here i go into clear cornea for about 1.5 mm then sweep backward and to the right and complete the sclerocorneal tunnel on the sics wound of the right side and on the same plane i go to the left side and carry on the dissection this is a large wound about 10.5 mm and the delivery of the nucleus will be very smooth there are other options we can divide the nucleus into two halves by snare but lot of manipulations are required and there is a possibility of endothelial cell damage in the hands of those who do not use snare regularly and now this is a side port at around 8:45 o'clock and now i'm going to inject an air bubble here it is beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule 
the cataract is black we will not get lot of contrast but whatever contrast we will get will help in doing capsulorexis the dye is washed out and now visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and here goes the adrenaline before injecting visco I injected adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more and now the lens is the nucleus is huge in this case so I'm planning a large e e e rexis and here at 9 o'clock I go beyond the margin of the pupil then come back and now the rexis is visible again at 3 o'clock I go beyond the margin of the pupil and bring it back and thus I have got a large rexis which will deliver the which will help in prolapse of the nucleus into anterior chamber and now the tunnel is opened go to the anterior extreme and then cut the tissue when you go forward with the keratome and this is a large wound of about 10.5 millimeter but because of this kind of incision we will need only one suture at the apex of this v-shaped incision hydrodissection is done in a very gentle manner the nucleus rotates there is no epinucleus very little cortex everything has been the whole epinucleus has been incorporated into the hard nucleus and now I'm going to prolapse the nucleus out of the capsular bag with the help of these two hooks and here it is see how huge it has occupied the whole of anterior chamber and now I'm using an irrigating vectors to deliver the nucleus since the wound is large the delivery will be very smooth here it is and whatever little epinuclear material was there has been irrigated out and now I'm going to remove the cortex with the help of a 23G Simcoe cannula removing the cortex from 9 o'clock first and then from 7 o'clock and 6 o'clock and now I go through the side port and remove the rest of the cortex retracting the iris with the Simcoe itself and checking if there is any cortex left
the people has become little small but we have removed the cortex very nicely and now we are going to implant an intraocular lens in the capsular bag the capsular bag and the anterior chamber is filled up with visco and then a 6 millimeter optic PMMA lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. The patient belongs to poor socio-economic category and cannot afford hydrophobic lenses like sensor multipiece or technis multipiece. And now I am going to apply only one suture at the apex of this V-shaped incision. That is the point where the two SICS incisions join. Tenu nylon is taken and now I am going to place the suture. By the way, this is a totally unedited surgery and you are not missing anything. You are watching each and every step of the surgery in real time. Please watch this with some interest so that you can manage very hard cataracts where you may be afraid to do fake emulsification. You just have to put only one suture and you don't have to divide the nucleus into two halves by a snare. Instead of doing that step, you are just putting one suture and this suture will reduce the astigmatism to a great extent because the wound gaping will not be there the wound will not sag, the anterior leaf of the wound will not sag and astigmatism will be controlled to a great extent. And now this knot is buried in the scleral tissue. It is done. and the two SICS wounds are very nicely secured. They have a long sclerocorneal tunnel in front so they don't need any suture. And now the visco is cleaned out very nicely. Care is taken not to leave any visco in the anterior chamber, I have gone behind the intraocular lens and irrigating the capsular bag so that all the visco comes out. At this time, the area of work is not centered. I'm sorry for that. Please bear with me. And now, I go through the side port and remove some more visco. When we do surgery in this way, the cornea remains clear next day. Very clear next day. And patient can be refracted after 10 days or 14 days and we can prescribe glasses to the patient. We can ask the patient to take full head bath after a couple of days. This is a releasable suture on the right end of the peritomy. I am going to inject 
gentamicin and dexamethasone on the left side so that the conjunctiva advances towards the limbus. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and I'm going to form the anterior chamber very nicely in this way. And now I'm going to check if there is any leakage from any wound. The intraocular pressure is on the higher side. No leakage from anywhere. And now I'm going to place the releasable suture. Three throws. I tried to put four throws, but three throws is okay. And just pull and cut the threads. Cut this thread with the needle short. The other thread, let it remain a little longer. When you pull the longer thread in the outpatient department, it will come out. It can be released with a sterile forceps, sterile state suture tying forceps. And now I remove the speculum and then inject gentamicin and dexamethasone on the left side of the peritomy. Hold the conjunctiva tenens with tooth forceps inject gentamicin and dexamethasone and the conjunctiva will advance to the limbus. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing your very hard cataracts where you may be afraid to do phacoemulsification.